Hey, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. 21. Today, we're going to be going over uh, just how to export your track that you already got sequenced inside of Reason, like this, and you want to export it and put it in the uh, Pro Tools or, you know, and have that track by track uh, setup. So, the first thing you're going to do inside of Reason is open up your track. Alright? And then, all is real simple. All you're doing is muting the tracks. So that only, or soloing out the tracks, so that only one thing would play. Alright, now since I have a master fader on here, and I don't want that in my track, I need to turn that off, which, that's right there. Alright, so, I'm going to turn that off, so that way uh, my master fader doesn't work when I send it to Pro Tools. Because I want to do all my uh, automation and whatnot inside of Pro Tools. Alright, so... What I'm going to do is you're going to solo out whatever track that uh, you're using. All right, so I'm starting with my drums. You're going to come up to File. And then you're going to come all the way down to where it says Export the Song and Audio. All right. So you click that. And then what you should get is a window such just like this I've already recorded my bells and drums so I'm not even gonna uh, worry about getting my drums this time um, the reason why I'm doing this is because uh, I have a session coming up with a couple of my a couple of people that I work with a couple of my artists and I wanna make sure that I uh, you know have it tracked out inside of Pro Tools so if they say hey the, the drums is too loud or whatever you know they can I can turn that down, make a quick edit on the spot, uh, whatnot. It's always good to uh, have your your sessions pre-scheduled so that way you can prepare for them so you don't look all messed up when uh, when they finally get there and they're like, hey, I'm ready to go. And then you got to be like, oh, yeah, hold on, I got to do this or I got to do that. Uh, it just makes you look like a fool and nobody wants to look like a fool. So anyway back to uh, exporting the track now that I, I got uh, oh make a folder make a folder put all your tracks in there whatever the name of the song is make a folder somewhere put all your uh, and then start saving your tracks in there as what they're called like this one right here is the trumpet alright I'm gonna go ahead and put trumpet in there and then you're gonna get that little uh, same thing leave it at 44 and 1 16 bit uh, and make sure you put dither on and then go ahead and hit okay all right uh, it's just like exporting any other like if you're exporting a file normally except for you're soloing out certain tracks so that way only that track is going to be uh, exported and whatnot and you know it just makes it easier on you uh, you can rewire reason in Pro Tools but when you have a, uh, a lot of tracks and you didn't you didn't work in uh, Pro Tools with reason at the, while you were creating the track uh, it makes it a little bit more difficult for you uh, as far as keeping the tracks organized and then having to use the bus to put them into to waveform and stuff like that so, it's better <clears throat> just to do it like this. Take the extra, you know, the extra 10, 12 minutes to get this all hooked up. Maybe not even that long. Depending on how many uh, tracks you got. Take the extra time. Get that done. And you'll be a lot, ha a lot more happy with yourself in the long run. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the tape, and then I'll come back when I get to Pro Tools, and then uh, I'll show you how to import that. Alright, all right. so now that uh, you got all your stuff exported from wherever you were going, now what you're going to do is open up your Pro Tools. 
and as you can see here I'm running Pro Tools 8 uh, and I get a, a little opening screen every time I open it where it asks me uh, if I want to create a blank session whatnot so in this case I do so you go ahead and click that button and then you click OK you'll get your uh, search for where you want to save this yet and I had already prepared one um, so I'm gonna just go ahead and open that and then actually you know what I'm gonna just open that but you would create a, a blank one since I already have one open I'm just gonna go ahead and do that alright there's nothing in this session at all okay is just blank that's the way you want it to be because it's gonna help you out in the long run it'll make things a lot easier for you alright so what what you're gonna do now is you're gonna go to file and you're gonna go to import you're gonna go to audio okay you'll get this this folder right here as you can see I have all my tracks here so you know it's ready to go what you're going to do is you're going to click the first one and then you're going to come all the way down to the last one and click it and then you're going to click uh, convert files and now they're all in there and then you're going to go ahead and hit done use current folder you'll get a, uh, a status bar which I can't move right now but it's over there as you can see and it's gonna take some time so just give it some time let it do its thing and then uh, I'll come back to you once that's all done uh, alright so now I got the uh, the finalized uh, stuff and or I'm sorry all my tracks are imported or analyzed ready to go for the import and what you're gonna do is you're gonna do new track and session start what that's gonna do is is going to go ahead and put all your tracks let me go ahead and make this a little bit bigger if you're following along you should be able to see this uh, you'll be able to see this with me but it puts all your tracks on there so now you have every last one of your tracks on here okay and then with that you'll also if you uh, name them properly you'll see the names for them over here on this side like this one that's my snap underneath it is a snare you know alright so make sure that you come up here to the tempo up in this area alright make sure that you change the tempo to whatever the tempo of your beat is mine is 85 so I'm gonna hit that hit enter and then make sure you save it control save is the key keyboard command and then you can also just go to file save alright so I have all of my tracks right where I want them how I want them and I'm good to go and then you can play it just to make sure everything is the way that that it should be um, and I'll go ahead and play it. And you can see everything inside of my uh, mix window. sounds pretty bad, you gotta EQ it, you gotta do stuff to it, make it sound better, but it's in there, it's ready to go, and uh, that's that, any questions, get at me, subscribe, uh, comment, and enjoy.